Can you feel that loveliness in the air? It's fall. And fall is one of my favorite seasons. And when there's fall, there's always pumpkins. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy, no-bake pumpkin cheesecake. And if that sounds tantalizing to your taste buds, Let's get right into making this. We're going to begin with two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese, full fat. And we're just going to put those right into the food processor. These have been softened and cut into blocks, little blocks, so it's easier to process. Next, we're going to add heavy whipping cream, and that's two-thirds cup of that. And we're just going to put the top on the food processor, and we're going to process the cream cheese and the heavy cream until it's nice and smooth. Okay, I think we've got it nice and smooth now. That looks really nice. So next we're going to do is we're going to put in one cup of pumpkin puree. Oops. And then two-thirds cup of powdered monk fruit, the golden. And then three-quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a pinch of salt. And we're gonna process this until it's nice and smooth. Okay, I think we got that nicely incorporated. It looks beautiful. I am gonna scrape the sides a bit though. The food processor didn't quite get all that. So we have a beautiful creamy batter here. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of orange zest. This is just going to give it a lovely fresh flavor. I put in about half an orange. Okay, give that a mix. And, mmm, gosh, it smells lovely. Okay, so now we're going to pair, prepare our individual dishes. I like doing them individually. That way you can take a cheesecake and put it in your lunch makes it nice and easy. Okay, so at the bottom, I'm going to do is, is I have some very finely chopped pecans that have been toasted. And I'm just going to cover the bottom of each ramekin. If you're wondering, those are my fur kids. want to go ahead and just take about a half a cup of the cheesecake batter and put it in the ramekins. what we do is that we're just going to put them all into the fridge until it's set and that takes about four hours okay the cheesecake is nice and set so now we're ready to dollop on some sour um, whipping cream and uh, this is a special whipped cream because it's just not plain old cream and sweetener we're going to add a bit of cinnamon to it 
just to make it pop. So we want to start out with a chilled bowl. That helps to get that whipped cream really nice and stiff. So we're going to pour in here about a cup of heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to begin and start beating it. There. So now we're going to add our sweetener, and again, I'm going to be using powdered uh, monk fruit, the golden type. So about two tablespoons of that in there. And then we're also going to add about a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And now we're going to give that a whirl until we've got really good stiff peaks. I think we're there and that's how we want to get it okay. so just before you serve you want to go ahead and put a dollop of this lovely cinnamon whipped cream on your little cheesecakes if you got a piping bag you can go ahead and get real fancy and do that but I'm just going Top just like so. Maybe a little bit more sprinkle of cinnamon for looks. And then I also like to add, whoops, I don't have them out here, but I also like to add the really chopped or the finely chopped pecans on top of that. So there you go. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. And also, if you look in the description box, I'll have the complete recipe. And I'll also continue to add more pumpkin recipes as I go along during this beautiful fall season. Well, best wishes to you and yours. Have a lovely holiday season. Bye-bye.